Hey guys, D-Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays with Illusion of Gaia. Last time, we scoured the Incan ruins, found some mystic statues, and fought Castoth, the demon hand thing. And today, we have landed on the mythical and foretold by the legends, Gold Incan ship. So... These are the Incans now? Apparently they have blue hair? Are they referring to us? Because I mean... You know, I'm, I'm flattered. I need to much shorter. Well, excuse you. I'm just a child. So apparently this is... Some sort of a misunderstanding, perhaps? Will is very confused with three question marks. But we'll take it. I wonder how strange it must have been for ancient cultures to be visited by people not familiar to them and to have some sort of prophecy declare that person a king or a deity of some sort. How weird that must have felt for the civilization. How weird that must have felt for the person declared. Also, why am I the only person whose wind is blowing? And making my beautiful... My wind is blowing. How my hair is blowing beautifully in the wind is what I meant to say. Apparently we need to go see the queen. They've been waiting for us for a long time. What could possibly go wrong? The ship is so beautiful. With its gold and purple fixtures. Interesting. Let's go down below deck and talk to more of our new peasants. I'll do whatever I want. I honestly don't know where anything is. A lot of barrels below deck. Hopefully that's full of delicious Kool-Aid or maybe some Capri Sun, my favorite. And now that I'm king, you have to do what I say. Okay, we have a bit of a poet over here. Don't know what the H you're saying. Boring. Where's the movie? I'd rather watch that. Seems like the queen is wearing the ring she got from the king. You're welcome. That's right. Oh, it's very sweet. Thank you for thinking of me. I'm not entirely sure how they could misrepresent a person from their culture with Will? Because he doesn't have the same skin tone? Anyway. Maybe this is one of those explorer situations where they came and invaded. And colonized. Not cool. So she's been guarding the mystic statue of the wind. She's preventing us from being able to break wind. We were given it by the spirits? Okay. Sure. She's been keeping it safe for us. All this time, however long that's been, even though we're not the person she's actually thinking of. But the sentiment is still nice regardless. Apologies in advance, viewers. Um, this episode does not have a lot of action in it, so hopefully you love exposition and being on very awkwardly colored, illustrious sea vessels. So, anyway. Sure. I, I'd love to go back to the poop deck. Opening this chest, though. Oh, viewers, it's exactly what she said it would be. Oh my gosh. Apparently we don't have any items right now. But that's actually one of the six statues that we need. It's not related to the mystic statues of the Incan tribe but one of the six statues that you need to actually complete the game. So this is how they give it to you, I guess. I don't know. But if you go back on deck, the person guarding the crow's nest has moved. We can finally get up here and get ship, get the ship sailing. Holy ship. Oh, short king. That's right. All you short kings out there, don't let those taller people get you down. But now we can set sail. 
Apparently we were in a cave? Some sort? For a long time? I don't know. But don't let invaders come and destroy your world, viewers, okay? Don't let them do that. Don't let outside sources ruin your good vibes. So now we can see the beautiful, beautiful ocean blue. I am slurring my words. I promise I am doing okay. All right. But being a little seasick from all this sailing, I think we could have a, light, a nice little nap on these wooden pallets. That sounds really comfortable. What do you think, viewers? We collapse in exhaustion. And enter a dream state. We're in a coma. Not really. But we're back home. And this is not Grandma Lola or Grandpa Bill. Hello, who are you? Oh, it's his mom. Okay. Her name is Shira, apparently. Looking at the comet. Looking at a comet in the sky is never a good idea. You all know that. What do you think it is, viewers? Unlucky, lucky? It doesn't really matter what you choose here. We're gonna say we're gonna say lucky star. Because I love lucky charms. Don't let your happiness slip away, viewers, okay? You've got Mother Shira always watching over us. Oops, surprise! It's our friends! And all the Incans were actually uh just visions. We've been seeing some stuff. Maybe we had gone into some crazy uh, paraphernalia in those barrels. Who knows? We took a good old snooze, but it's not a problem. We were woken up by our friends, Lily and Lance. We were acting strange. Probably some shrooms. When you fight a demon, and then you go into an ink and ruin. Sometimes you get a little spicy. And Lily does not. Lily does not take too kindly to Lance making fun of where she's from. It's not where you're from, but where you pay rent. It's an invisible village that Lance is not on board with. And once again, we're being scolded. I feel like this is just kind of scold simulator. Everybody's always like, "You can't do this. You can't do that." Well. You're just lucky that I'm bringing you on such a cool adventure, so maybe back off. I don't need your sentiments, okay? Jeez. Let's head back outside, get some fresh air. Clear our mind from all of these goober friends we have. See if any of our other friends are here. Oh, it's Seth, our purple-haired companion. He's always been a good time. He found a red jewel. Okay. Make sure you do this. This is the only time in the game that you'll be able to do this, and if you skip it, it's just lost to time. So, just a heads up on that one. Looks like Eric is up here, checking out the poopy water seas. We scared him, probably pooped himself. Okay. I believe that's the majority of our friends. Is there anybody up in the crow's nest? Brave enough to go up there. I probably would not be. I'm not afraid of heights. But I would not enjoy that view very much. But that's all there is to do outside. So let's go inside and... Go back to the throne room here. Oh! Well, the queen's not looking so fresh. Yeah. That's not good. Let's talk to Kara here and see what she has to say. What do you mean? I'm right here. Unfortunately, the real king never returned and everybody perished waiting for him. That's unfortunate. Looks like the gold ring is still there. The ring. The most valuable of all. The most valuable artifact of all is UV. I mean, calling viewers artifacts is not good, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, everybody's trying to be greedy. Kara notwithstanding, greedy as well. Okay. Do you believe in curses, viewers? Oh, shenanigans are happening. 
Uh oh. This is not good. Sounds like there's... Oh, I didn't even see what that said. I'm assuming Lance is asking if we're okay, maybe. Uh oh. Lance is on the... Lance! Seth is on the poop deck. We have to go rescue him. Got a head above. That can see what's going on. Something happened to Seth, apparently. Scream that for yourself, viewers. I will not do it. A huge, enormous, giant fish. Uh-oh. What an SOB, or sob. That is unfortunate. Seth has been eaten by a fish. I'm sure that's probably somebody's worst nightmare and somebody's enjoyment. I am not into that. It's kind of weird. All right. Well, um, looks like this fish is coming back for a vengeance and it is not going to stop until we all become dessert. Uh oh. Viewers were falling overboard. Couldn't you tell? Well, it looks like only Karen and I made it. Unfortunately, we're on this piece of driftwood. That's not good. How are we going to survive? We're washed at sea. Viewers, if you were washed at sea with one person, potentially somebody you did like or you didn't, what's uh, something you'd bring with you? You know, a favorite book. Maybe a, uh, a toy of some sort. Probably food and water would be smart if you had the knowledge to do so. For me, although she'd probably run away, I'd bring my kid. All right, let's go ahead and uh, have a little snack while we're waiting. Let's have a little snack while we're waiting. Some of that smoked yak. Mm. Delicious. Let's talk to Kara, not smack her in the back of the head. What do you mean you've lost everyone? I've lost everyone! Are we okay, viewers? I feel like I'm okay. Uh, what? That is not a simile that I'm familiar with. Look at you with all your book learning, Kara. If you knew that this was going to happen, maybe you should have prevented this gigantic shipwreck and huge monster fish that's going to eat us. Kara's not really helping us out in any meaningful way. Let's have some more of that yak. Why not? Delicious. This is a very fun part of the game. Being adrift at sea. Let's talk to Kara again and see what she has to say. Stop invalidating my emotions, okay? <laughs> Don't think about the future. Let's just enjoy drifting as we uh, slowly waste away. Okay, you have your you have your meat. I'll have my meat. Let's have our meat. Three times the charm. We can share it with Kara this time around. I'm sure, she appreciates that. Day two. Looks like we're losing a little bit of our continuity. Not continuity. Constitution. I cannot talk. Let's uh, let's hit some fish with our flute. Uh, Kara, how about you back off? All right, I'm trying to get us dinner. What are you doing to help us? And yes, um, this is not something that you can uh, skip, unfortunately. I don't know why they thought that this was fun in any way, but this is exactly what you do. Um, I wonder if you get, carry, yeah, get tired of me uh, abusing fish in the water. They deserve it too. Dumb fish. And then, yeah, you just got to kind of wait it out. That's it. Nothing to break the monotony, but Kara's big dumb mouth. I don't even know what that means. Will, are you still on something, buddy? Drifting day four, the water has turned into absolute poop. We are drifting on poo sludge, and there's nothing you can do. 
Let's see if Kara has anything to say. Help is coming, okay. Use your psychic n -n 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 powers and figure this out. Get us out of here, Kara. What are you going over there for? What did I do? I'm not done talking to you. Oh, she sees something. Kara, are you on something as well? Ooh. It's P! Okay. Interesting. What is this? There was a letter in the jar. The contents read, P! We're on a ship on our way to be sold as forced labor in an... Okay. Super cool to include slavery in a child's game. Awesome. So, Sam, who was once gobbled by a fish, is now about to be sold into slavery. Super cool and fun. Awesome. Horrible. I don't think that this is somebody coming to save us. I think that this is... Your premonition went awry, and we are now being told that one of our friends is about to be murdered. So... You said you wanted to be saved. Well, what you actually meant was that one of our friends is going to be slaved. You misread the premonition, Kara. You're starved. Well, it's too bad you didn't want to let us catch some fish for you. Beggars can't be choosers. Looks like Kara is not willing to put aside her differences and eat the pretty fish. I guess sushi was not invented by this time. Oh, come on, fish don't have feelings. Then I guess you're just gonna have to starve, Kara. We will eat it without you. All because of a fish. <laughs> Typical princess. Well, excuse me, princess. Okay, we actually need to uh, catch some fish ourselves so that way we do not starve while Kara is facing away from us. We will catch the fish and eat the fish. I will eat the fish. We have to do this until our HP is full. So it'll take a just a moment to do so. I believe each fish heals half of an HP blob. We're almost there, almost up to full while Kara wastes away. Her loss sucks to be you, Kara. Sorry. How about you uh, maybe apologize? That'd be nice. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Game's getting deep. Let's catch a good fish. Now you can catch a fish for Kara and she will eat it. There you go, Kara. How about that? Thank you, Kara. It's goldfish, pizza flavored. Ooh, Will's falling in love while we're on this raft. Day 12. Can you imagine, viewers? That'd be horrible. Like you probably would die of dehydration by this point. We're eating fish, but we are not drinking any water. Unless we're drinking our own pee. Oh, that's adorable. Unfortunately, Kara, you are not light years tall, so that would not work. She's interested in Lance and Lily, but nobody cares about Eric or Sam, apparently. Let's go ahead and talk about all these poetic, fun, you know, things and just not worry about our friend who's being sold into the servitude. But that red star is the comet from the vision we had. All right, viewers, close your eyes, make a wish. Do you want to know what my wish was, viewers? That's a pretty good one. Mine was to never burn my mouth again when I eat pizza bagels. Kind of on the same plane, I would assume. I think, at least. Here we are, day 13. Super fun. Did that say 18 or 13? I missed it. So, probably 18, because 13 is not almost three weeks. Hee 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 hee! Stop making our, fun of our haircut. Apparently, Kara now is... 
humble, but I don't understand this dialogue at all. I'm not entirely sure um, if it's like they're talking or um, is he like thinking to himself out loud? Uh, they're shirks. Viewers, what do we do? We're being attacked. It's Jaws. Do 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 do. This is super intense. I am so scared, viewers. What do we do? We're being circled by these sharks that are not doing anything with any expediency. Um, let's think about this. I'm not sure what there is to think about, Will. Can we sacrifice Kara? Would that be possible? I feel like that would appease all of them. She's mighty tasty, I've heard. Princesses have extra fiber, so that's good for your diet. <gasps> I don't know if that's true. There are plenty of animals that will definitely kill and play with their prey. <laughs> it has nothing to do with how hungry they are. They're going, goodbye sharks. Goodbye! Okay. Great. Okay, so that... Well, that might have still said 18. I don't know. Oh, get out of here. Go invent electricity or something. Oh my goodness. Kara, this is so lame! Will's all choked up by his feelings. Some of this, yeah, I can't tell if it's like him saying it because there's no quotes around anything or, you know, parentheses, anything to let you know if it's like a verbalized quote or if it's, oh, okay, that's not good. We ate too many of the fish. Don't worry, Kara, we're just taking a quick snooze. Back off, jeez. Okay. See, that's all. We got scurvy. That's the problem. Oh, man, this game is so educational. When life hands you lemons, don't take those lemons and get scurvy instead. Okay, I'm assuming they're referring to Christopher Columbus. Kind of a weird thing to put in this game. Okay. Seems a little racist. Um, Kara is not here for your medicine talk, man. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, this is... Let's just get this over with. This is too much. We were rescued by a, a pup outside. And told the guy about our drifting away. And he came to rescue us. Super cool. He's been weird talking to us about medicine and science, and I don't want to hear it. Everybody should have their own blankets, viewers. If you ever share a bed with somebody, get your own gosh dang blankets. So as we learn now, we are on the south outskirts of Oakton, of Oakland. The city of Frisia is half a day to the north. He claims that Seth might be there. Okay. So let's go outside and thank the pup. Let's check this pot and find a red jewel. Let's go ahead and do that. Thanks, buddy. Woof, woof. That dog has saved us. All right, so that's all the time we have for today, viewers. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sunday's Illusion of Gaia, and I'll see you next time. Bye.